When I started video editing, I was charging as little as $20 per video. Brutal. Nowadays, I wouldn't even bother downloading the file for that amount of money, let alone sticking it inside of Adobe Premiere. One of my favorite things to do is to calculate the hourly rate of a project which either myself or one of my students has taken on. And a great rule of thumb is if it's anything below $35 per hour, it's absolutely not worth doing. When I was charging 20 bucks per video, my hourly was well below minimal wage. I may as well go flip burgers at McDonald's at that point because one, at least it's a consistent stream of work, but then two, it literally pays more. This leads me to the topic of today's video. My student Aaron asked me, how do you get over the four to 5K a month mark without spending your entire time working? And the answer my friend is to raise your prices. Thanks for watching. Just kidding guys. If only it was that simple, right? Well, it actually is. The problem I see a lot of editors facing and a lot of you might not like me saying this, but if you could put your ego to the side for a moment, I'm just trying to help you. We reach a certain threshold in terms of our income and we become comfortable enough to not really push for any more. And I know you listening to this, you're so sure that this doesn't apply to you. No way, man, I'm a sick my mail. I'm always fucking grinding and pushing for more, man. But four to 5K a month is a pretty sweet amount of money. You have over double what minimal wage is. And it is natural for us humans to reach a certain point of comfort and to stop pushing as hard as we once did. And none of us would ever admit that we're complacent, right? If you've never once heard anyone say, oh, I'm pretty complacent with where I'm at, you know? Because to admit that would be a literal attack on your own ego and your own persona that you've built of yourself. So don't be so sure that this doesn't apply to you. Let me ask you this. When you wake up in the morning, do you genuinely have a burning desire to make more money? If you're truly on honest with yourself, more likely than not, you don't. Because if you did, you would have figured it out by now or you would have been well on your pathway. So that's number one, program a burning desire for more into your brain. The next thing is guys, leveraging your abundance. You might be defaulting to the idea that, wow, if I'm using up all of my hours in a day and I'm only able to make four to 5K a month, how can I possibly do more? How can I generate more hours in my day? And this is the wrong line of thinking. It's not about generating more hours, it's about upping the amount of money your hour is worth. You have a client, right? Or you have clients which are paying you four to 5K a month, that's amazing. It's time to leverage that to get paid more. Especially if you've been plateaued at the same level of income for a while, you have to start to ask yourself, why? It's usually one of two reasons or both reasons, okay? One, you haven't attempted to negotiate better rates with your clients. And two, you haven't attempted to find better clients. And tying back into my first point, a lot of us reach a level of income which makes us very comfortable. So we don't necessarily push for more. But what pushing more actually looks like is constantly negotiating for better rates, building and expanding your video editor personal brand, and constantly attracting new clients clients and new prospects into your business. Let me break it down into numbers to make this really understandable for you. And you can see just how easy it is to get past your plateau. Let's say you're making 5K a month and you're working five hours a day. Not too bad, right? That means your hourly rate is $33, which to be honest, isn't even that good. If we just negotiated your hourly rate to $40 an hour, suddenly you're making $6,000. Do you see how that works? Just by nudging up your rates a little bit, you earn an extra $1,000 per month while doing the exact same amount of work. Now imagine continuing to do that. $50 per hour for five hours a day is $7,500 per month, which is so insanely doable for any of you watching this video right now. And because you already have some well-paying clients behind you, you already have momentum. All you need to do now is continue to maintain maintain your levels of abundance through new client acquisition, negotiation, and your video editing brand. When you're in the club <laughs> at 3 a.m. and most of the hot girls have left already, and there's only a few rotters kicking about, right? You're far more likely to take a rotter home, providing you're a hedonist, which I'm not, because you're operating out of scarcity, right? Now, let's say you are surrounded by beautiful Eastern European queens. You're far more likely to be more picky and to get the best 
option, right? Same shit with clients, boys. The mistake a lot of you make is that you reach a certain level of income and you stop caring about maintaining your levels of abundance. Aaron, you asked this question, I'm now gonna put you on blast. I checked your Twitter. You haven't posted on there for over a month. How are you going to attract new clients and how are you gonna maintain your sense of abundance if you're not even posting on your Twitter? Imagine a scenario now where you're working with your current clients, you're posting on Twitter, you're applying for jobs inside of the academy and you're still getting new potential clients hitting your inbox every single day asking to work with you. How much easier is it gonna be for you to carry yourself with abundance? Suddenly it's gonna be way easier for you to ask for that pay raise with your current clients. And every new client that hits you up, you can quite safely ask them for fuck you money because you're already set, you've already got a good set of clients who are paying you well. So unless they're willing to pay you more and significantly more than what your current clients are paying, you're not even interested in working with them anyway. But the interesting thing is 10% of these clients who you ask for fuck you money from will actually accept it. So boys, watching this video. You don't need to overnight double your rates. That's not what I'm suggesting. You just need to continually seek growth, nudging up your hourly rate. And the foundation of that is actually having the burning desire for more. Because once you have that, everything else begins to make sense. Once you wake up and the first thing you think about is fucking hell, how do I get to 6K per month with my video editing? Once you're sat on the toilet and you're thinking about how you can get your hourly rate to 50 bucks an hour, that is when the answers become so clear to you. I hope this video helps boys. If you want more mindset paradigm shifts and you want to become a 10k a month video editing god, Chad editor, traveling the world with your laptop, sick network of boys doing the same shit as you, providing for your loved ones, providing for your family, being the masculine provider, right? That's what we all want. You should join my academy of excellence. It is the best place on earth to be if you are a video editor. Got the best network of lads in there. Got amazing exclusive job opportunities from my vast network of six, seven, eight figure entrepreneurs. And I'll take you from a total beginner video editor to a godlike video editor. And through that transition, your entire life will change. You will carry yourself with an aura which will turn heads because that <laughs> is the Chad video editor path. If that sounds interesting to you boys, Click the first link in the description right now. Take care.